Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video doing the ECM Draft 30 day forecast for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well uh, for today's second video. Uh, so I'll get time back for you in a moment. Just to say about the first video today was the 6am upload and we've got 10 to 14 there with all of the rate features coming up for you later on this afternoon. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. So thank you so much everybody uh, for the MF. Thank you so much to ECMDF.int for supplying the charts as well. Thanks so much ECM. We will have a look at weeks 5 and 6 data as well while we're here because well, why not? But uh, it is traditionally a 30-day forecast, uh, this, for uh, Europe. So we begin uh, with the week one mean cell pressure anomaly, taking us from the 9th to the 16th of January. The coming week has lots of low pressure across northern and also western parts of Europe. Some high pressure is down to the southwest. Uh, we've got a big area of high pressure over western Russia, by the way. It brings very cold air into northern and western parts of Russia. But most parts of Europe are actually mild with the air driving in from off the Atlantic, along with those westy winds. This is how the 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down is looking with the below average heights across the North Atlantic and northern and west Europe, but above average heights and higher pressure down towards Spain and winds coming in from a westerly direction across most parts of Europe. So here's our temperature anomaly uh, this week. Now notice how cold it is into the far north, west and west of Russia. Extremely cold there, 10 degrees or more below average and a little bit on the cool side in the North Atlantic as well, particularly around Iceland and Greenland. And that's a little bit on the cool side in the extreme eastern part of the Mediterranean, more down towards the Middle East, though. Uh, otherwise, it's a mild average scene, though, across most parts of Europe, Scandinavia. Looking uh, very mild, we've got much of France, the Low Countries, Germany, Poland, in towards certainly western parts of Ukraine, looking really mild as well. And going towards Baltic Sea states, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, looking very mild uh, through there. Into the med, above average temperatures quite widely from Spain, Portugal, in the east, uh, in the west, I should say, over towards Greece in the east. So it is a significantly mild and average sea across much of Europe in the weekend. Of course, with low pressure in off the Atlantic, also an unsettled scene uh, as well. Though there are some dry areas, particularly Spain, Portugal, Western Bowl of the Med, looking reasonably dry, over the Eastern Med, from Italy over towards Greece, looking um, wetter through there. So drier up towards the Black Sea, of course, where we've got that cold weather into Western Russia, it's relatively dry through there. And uh, parts of Norway looking quite dry too, as does Greenland and Iceland. That said, many areas are wetter than average from the UK, Ireland and France in West, right way over to the extreme, <coughs> to the extreme east of Europe. In the east, it does look significantly wetter than normal in uh, many areas. Wettest conditions possibly through parts of France, the Low Countries, and into Germany, across northern Europe, and, and very wet, as I say, down into the eastern part of the Med. Right, week two will be the 16th to the 23rd of January. It looks like that. So a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge building up towards uh, Greenland. Trough of low pressure gets pushed eastwards. That might start to bring something a little bit colder into northern and western parts of Europe. At the same time, the high pressure over here might start to bring milder air back into the eastern part of Europe. Or keep it mild into the east of Europe and take that milder air back into the west of Europe, mainly, uh, maybe. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So again, we've got the Middle Atlantic Ridge there, but it's extending up towards the southwest of Greenland. Trough of below average heights to our north and east jet stream doing something uh, a little bit like that. So it does suggest that like east of Europe likely to be mild, but we could be bringing some cooler air into the north and the west of Europe. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. So um, you see that the core of the warmth is moving eastward. So the very cold weather across northern and western Russia this week is retreating away and being replaced by significantly above average temperatures. Most parts of eastern Europe also having above average temperatures everywhere from around Poland, eastwards to the Black Sea, Balkans again, looking very uh, mild. I know it's been a really mild bulk, um, Balkan winter so far. That carries on into uh, winter as well. At the same time, the far west of Norway has been cooling down a little bit. So southern parts of Norway and Sweden getting a little bit cooler. Into the UK and Ireland also starting to uh, cool down through there. Uh, a little bit. We've got France, uh, Germany, the Low Countries, still a bit more than average, but beginning to cool down a bit through there as well. Near normal temperatures 
through Spain, Portugal. So definitely was a little bit cooler in the far west and northwest. I wouldn't be getting too excited about, you know, it getting very cold or anything like that. But so it was a little bit cooler there through the north and the west of Europe with the warmth, the, the core of the warmth going to more central and eastern parts of Europe. And precipitation wise, uh, it looks like that. So um, uh, we can see that the west is where it looks like it's moving eastwards, really. So uh, for the UK, for Ireland, through France, Spain, Portugal, Possibly still a little bit on the above average side for precipitation, but not as much so. Low countries, Germany, eastern parts of France looking quite wet, and going up into northeastern Europe, also looking pretty wet there around the Baltic Sea states, into eastern parts of Scandinavia, above average rainfall uh, through there. The far east and southeast of Europe looking drier from uh, like the east part of the Mediterranean, so Greece, Turkey, up to the Black Sea, drier than average conditions through there. And uh, Spain, Portugal also looking a little bit on the dry side. My interpretation is that the West is where we're beginning to move a little bit further eastwards there in the second week. Week 3 will be the 23rd of January to the 30th. And it looks like that. So some high pressure across uh, many central and eastern parts of Europe now. Possibly hinting at going up towards Scandinavia as well. Low pressure down towards Spain. Oh, that's a rather strange looking anomaly, but I would have thought it's beginning to bring Madre Air back up the western side of Europe again in uh, this week, probably. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. They look like that. So a large ridge seems to be taking over across much of Europe. There is a bit of a low, could be cut off low towards Biscay. I would think that's going to bring very mild air up the western side of Europe, probably. Uh, of course, inland across the continent, under the high pressure, could be colder under that ridge. The temperature only just looks generally above average in both areas. Bear in mind, you know, these sort of areas here, like the central eastern part of the continent, if you're under a big ridge of high pressure, the model is looking at the parameters within the atmosphere and saying it's going to be, uh, going to be mild uh, down on the surface. It won't be able to take into account like inversion cold that could deliver frost and fog. And that sort of thing. So actually, it could be quite a lot colder, really, under that area of high pressure. Um, close to average temperatures for the UK and Ireland. Close to average through Scandinavia as well. Um, I reckon, you know, my interpretation would be that these sort of areas here are likely to be quite cold with frost and fog. But this area um, is likely to be milder through here with more of a southerly type influence. That would be my guess with that one. And then the precipitation anomaly. That high pressure takes over because it starts to turn drier. So especially through the central and eastern parts of Europe under the high pressure turning drier there. Wet down towards Spain and Portugal. That's where the low pressure is going. Eastern parts of the Med looking quite dry. Western Med looking uh, quite wet. Possibly going a bit drier up towards Scandinavia as well if that high pressure begins to migrate northwards. Week 4 will be the 30th of January to the 6th of February. So the high pressure goes away then, and low pressure comes back in from off the Atlantic. So that looks like it's just reverting generally to like a flat westerly type flow. Again, that'll bring milder, wetter, windy weather back in from off the Atlantic. The 500 millibar heights looks like that. That's a big change from week three to four, though, isn't it? Um, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happens to the high pressure really. Um, so we go into early February, and we're very much back into. Atlantic driven type weather. Look at the change from week three that to week four. That, that's a big change, so I'm a little bit dubious about that, but we'll go with it anyway. Um, very mild, of course, as that low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. Most parts of Europe look quite mild, but it's still not much of a ceiling for far north and northwest, but most areas with above average temperatures. From the UK, France, Spain, Portugal, in the west, over towards Black Sea and Western Russia in the east. Most areas have above average temperatures. That's probably fair enough if the wind does get back into the west. And uh, becoming quite wet again through western parts of Europe, Ireland, UK, France, the Low Country, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Denmark, southern parts of um, uh, Norway in particular, wetter, but wetter through there. Possibly still a little bit on the drier side over across the eastern parts of Europe and the far north of Europe looking perhaps a little bit drier there into northern parts of Scandinavia. Right, that's the 38 look ahead done. Let's go for week 5 and 6 data, uh, shall we? Before we go, why not? Let's have a look at week 5, mean cell pressure anomaly. Uh, not much change. Low pressure remains out across western parts of Europe, suggesting Atlantic driven conditions continue. The 500 millibar heights don't look much different either. 
Temperature on is still generally mild across most parts of Europe, and precipitation on is still pretty wet, especially across those western areas. And then last week, week six will be the 13th to the 20th of February. And uh, again, all lots very Atlantic driven, lots of low pressure in the North Atlantic. So, so this will be a very wet February if this comes off across much of Western Europe in particular. 500 millibar heights again, suggesting just an ongoing sort of onslaught pattern again. Uh, the temperature anomaly looks widely milder than average, and the precipitation anomaly looks like that. And once more, it's sort of better than average, especially in the far north and west of Europe. Right, well, uh, that's your uh, oh, let's just get rid of that. that's your EC 38 look ahead for this week. Maybe just a snapshot, what model is showing could look, could look completely different when we look at the model again uh, next week. We will do like a week 10 day. Detailed European outlook on Thursday, by the way. So, um, if you're in Europe and uh, you want to have a detailed forecast, then that'll be coming up um, on Thursday. We're going to be back later on with the 10th 14th air, which will include all our regular features. So, make sure you check that one out for this week's EC 30 Day Look at That's all for now. And thanks for watching.